Bharadwaj Kolapa. I'm a faculty here in the physics discipline at IIT Gandhinagar. I've been teaching physics courses here at uh, various levels for the last seven years or so. I find teaching to be a rewarding and an interesting experience because truly there is no uh, one-size-fits-all approach to teaching. Uh, the efficacy of the teaching learning outcome uh, depends as much on how the students learn as it does on what kind of a learner the teacher himself or herself is. Uh, so I have, the bulk of my teaching uh, is about MSc core courses to physics students. Uh, on subjects like quantum mechanics and mathematical physics and one of the challenges uh, in a course of this kind is that the university system in our country is varied at the undergraduate level and that and there is no standard to which all the different colleges and institutes adhere to uh, this means that uh, the students who show up at iit gandhinagar for an msc program in physics have had various different backgrounds and one of my first exercises in approach in uh, teaching master's level courses is to share the course plan with all the students and get an understanding of what has been covered prior in their undergraduate course so that I can establish a baseline from which to begin teaching. And this is an exercise that has been enormously useful for me in the past and one that the students have also been very receptive to. Regarding undergraduate teaching, uh, in all the undergraduate courses that I've been part of, um, I find that the students are more receptive to hands-on learning as much as they are to the traditional quizzes and the exams. Uh, for example, in the Math 201 course that I co-taught with two other instructors the last semester, this was a course on differential equations for um, undergraduate engineering students, uh, we had an active project component and I'm so happy that I ended up learning uh, a lot more about various different applications of differential equations from their project report that I did not know prior, uh, as much as I hope the students learned from my lectures. So this is a component that I hope to uh, actively make part of every other undergraduate course that I will teach, at least at the basic level. Regarding teaching advanced subjects, um, uh, one has to adopt slightly different methodologies instead of frequent assessments. So what I'm doing currently when I'm uh, teaching a course on the introduction to the standard model of particle physics to uh, second year MSc students and PhD students, uh, the 50% of the grade for this course comes from a project component again, which the students uh, I'm sure would really love, and 50% comes from problem sheets but with a twist. So what I'm trying to do this semester is to ask the students to grade each other's reports, uh, each other's project uh, problem sheets. Uh, the reason I want to do this is quite simple. So in the traditional way of uh, looking at things, uh, a teacher grades the problem sheet and the student learns whether her approach was correct or incorrect. But my hope with this way of doing at things where the students grade each other's uh, problem sheets is that one gets to know a variety of ways to approach a problem. And if the students step onto their next role as researchers in physics, for example, it is very important to get things right, but it is also very important to understand how to approach a problem and what are the different methods of looking at possible solutions to the problem. So my goal with this approach is to try to get the students a head start with this research methodology. Regardless of the course I have taught uh, at the undergraduate or the master's level, uh, ever since the pandemic began, I've always made it a point to upload all my lectures on YouTube and this is something that the students have been very appreciative about and very receptive to because they always have all the lecture notes and all the videos uh, whenever they want it and having constant access in you know troubled times like this is uh, something that you know uh, every student really enjoys so this is something i've constantly done and i have received very positive feedback from the student community about this